It looked like a gargoyle. Unfortunately, we were both feeling a little under the weather. A bummer because Law of Rocks is 10 days from now and both of us would like to do well there. We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the world. But if we're being honest, we don't just want to race. We want to do well and keep improving year to year. The past few months, we've been at our home base in New Mexico, putting in a lot of work to hopefully make this season our best yet. Come on, Mackie! And then right before the first real test of the season, I got the plague. We debated whether or not we should make this video, but decided maybe it would be helpful to show how we navigate the less glamorous aspects of being a professional athlete. You just always want your race performances to reflect the work you've put in. Unfortunately, all sorts of things that happen in the weeks leading up to the race can impact that and make it harder for that to show through. And we want to shine a little light on the reality that no one's prep is ever perfect, but maybe you don't need perfect to still have a good race. Did I feel great? No. <laughs> Did I do it? Mostly. Exciting news. Be More Awesome kits are now open for pre-order. These are actually our race kits. We decided to put Be More Awesome on the front. We have kept the design and the colors the same as last year because they were really good. And we had a lot of people who wanted that and got in touch and were like, hey, how can I order it? They're like, sorry, you missed the order. That brings me to an important point. These are pre-order only, meaning you order them now and then they will arrive to you in late June, like June 21st, I believe is the estimate. We have all the styles. We have cross country jerseys, which have a zipper and pockets. Obviously they don't have the logos on the back. Mountain bike jerseys. This is the short sleeve one, um, no zipper, no pockets. We have three quarter mountain bike jerseys. We have long sleeve mountain bike jerseys. We've got bib shorts, which we upgraded the chamois in to be Primal's super nice chamois. We have baggy shorts. They say be more awesome on the side, whereas ours say Primal. Be more awesome gloves, be more awesome socks. All of this stuff is made by Primal. It's super, super nice quality. A couple of notes, there's a Evo 2.0 jersey. That's a tighter fitting cross country jersey. And then there's the Prisma jersey, which is a not as tight fitting cross country jersey. Both of them have zipper and pockets. And then the Ilex jerseys, which are the mountain bike short three quarter and long sleeve. If you do not plan to wear a back protector under it, we recommend sizing down. For example, I wear a medium in the cross country jersey, but a small in the mountain bike jersey. So head over, you can use the link in the description. It's right here on the screen, bit.ly slash be more awesome kits, all caps. We've got like a week and a half to mob rocks. Unfortunately, we were both feeling a little under the weather. I got the plague. It's yeah. just a bummer because both of us would like to do well there and it's the first stage race of the year and I feel like we've had pretty good training. Yeah, you just always want your, I don't know, race performances to reflect the work you've put in and mm -hmm. unfortunately, like all sorts of things that happen in the weeks leading up to the race can impact that and make it harder for that to show through. I was feeling pretty bummed about it and then kind of realized that, I don't know, it's better to go in to a race like this, like a little undertrained than overtrained. So we've decided to not do our workouts for today. Maybe take a couple days off. See. Mike pointed out a week ago at the Moab training camp that we did. At this point, you've put in the work, like the money's yeah. in the bank. You're not, you're not going to get fitter in the 10 days leading up to a race, but you can definitely Dig a hole. Do too much and go into it exhausted. Should we quit talking? Probably. Go take another nap. Another nap. <laughs> Make some tea. 10 points for recovery. Mm, yeah. Here's our beautiful little apricot tree with all of its blooms blooming away. And then here's Sid recovering. Since we are not feeling so great, we are going to do a little sauna ice bath action this morning. I seem to so far be not 
super sick, but I will say I've got a bit of an ick. I just like don't feel great, don't feel like training, don't feel like being super active and doing stuff. So I'm gonna kind of listen to that and lean into the recovery because it is March, we have a long, long season. We built this sauna last year. It was one of our best investments. Before we get attacked by all the Scandinavians, <laughs> we are wearing bathing suits because we are putting this on the internet. <laughs> we also have nice little mood lighting and our very cool sauna heater. The other decision we made when we got this sauna is we got one that is Wi-Fi capable so we can turn it on from anywhere so for example, at the top of the ski hill, when we know this is our last run, we can turn it on and then ski down and then get in the car and then drive home and then the sun is hot. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty chilly. Hoping some crock pot chicken soup is going to cure the sniffles. I am feeling a lot better today. Definitely still a little congested, a little sinusy. I'm not as grumpy and I don't Goodness. feel like the world is as terrible a place as I did the last few days. I feel like doing like an actual workout will feel good as opposed to just make me feel worse and make it take longer to recover. Today we are going to do our gym workout that I think was originally scheduled for Monday. <laughs> it was Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday, a number of days ago. Go, 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 go. said along with the gym workout 90 minute easy endurance ride we're gonna do a little exploring gonna go rip around on the e-bikes it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm excited are you excited oh, that's yeah looking good <laughs> Yeah. What happened? Well, in our last video on the e-bikes a couple weeks ago, a couple people were like, Sid, your bike is so loud. And we were like, yeah, why is it so much louder than Matthew's? Like, maybe it's the cables. Like. Maybe something's not good with the battery or the motor. <laughs> My seat's about to fall off. 
<laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> that is really embarrassing. The amount of time just now that we spent trying to troubleshoot this before I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I also don't have a multi tool, do you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, send it. This part's fun. That was so much fun. That was definitely what I needed. I am definitely feeling better than yesterday. Not feeling well, necessarily, but so much better than yesterday. And that bike is just so fun. So fun. So fun. The concept is chicken soup. Lots of garlic, lots of ginger. Well, the good news is that I feel way, way, way better today than I did yesterday. Still a little snuffly, still a little congested, but like energy levels are back up, feeling much more like myself. The bad news, Sid, not so much. She woke up with a headache, congested, and just generally has not felt great today. Other good news is that it is new kit day. I'm gonna celebrate new kit day by doing intervals. Yeah, 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 yeah. The way these intervals work, mine at least, they are 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 12 times. So it's a total of six minutes of intervals. The range is 380 to 425 or something. So not super duper hard, but they, they would feel hard by the third one. <laughs> I think I am going to try the first. Wow, there's literally a herd of border collies sprinting through the forest. <laughs> I'm going to have a go at the first set of intervals. Our rule, when we're not feeling good or getting over an illness or whatever is you start and that might just mean like you get on the bike you ride out the driveway and then you're like nope it is now apparent that i shouldn't be doing this or in this case i've been riding for about 40 minutes feel fine just finding that balance between not digging a hole right before a race and also if i can get a little more fitness in that would be great so i'm gonna start and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, here goes Sid. I'm guessing she has not started yet. There we go. That felt better than I thought it was going to. How about you? Yeah, no, it's, I ended up over on some of my numbers. Yeah. I feel like it's a good reminder that you can feel lousy yeah. and still hit your numbers and still yeah. do your training. And still perform, it's just yeah. a lot less fun. I just felt so bad earlier today. It's yeah. rather mystifying, but bikes fix everything. Bikes fix everything. So I'm gonna do another one, maybe three. I don't think I'll do four. Finished the ride. Did I feel great? No. <laughs> Did I do it? Mostly. I feel encouraged though, because it was definitely like a little bit of a systems check. And I think all systems go, heart rate was responding pretty normally, like maybe a little depressed, which is normal for being unrecovered or sick. I have a sinus headache, I feel bad. However, you can definitely perform when you feel bad. I know I can raise feeling like this. I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> it's not as fun. It's not optimal, but it also like, probably won't affect performance all that much. And it's easy to be like, I feel bad, therefore I can't race well. And like, like have it be a cop out. Yeah, yeah, or even just like get in your own head about it. Like if you're just like, 
All right, I feel bad. Like, you always feel bad in races. Yeah, I exactly. just feel bad at the start too. <laughs> we just have the common cold, um, and it turns out with the common cold, you can pretty much exercise through it. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> we are leaving for Moab in a couple hours. Before we leave, we need to make sure the bikes are race ready. And the main thing that I know needs to happen is I need new tires. I think Sid needs new tires also. The other thing we always do before a race is a bolt check. Looking at my bike, it could probably also use a bath. Okay, that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Aha. Uh -huh. That is not tight. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Get this good and tight. And what I'm doing here is not necessarily tightening anything anymore. Unless it feels loose. And so far, the only thing I found was that bolt linkage bolt, and the crank. Guess it's time to swap some tires. So this one is definitely worn. You can see the corner knobs are uh, undercut. This front one, I think I would keep riding it if I were just training on this bike. I'd probably take this front one and put it on the back. Generally, the rear tire wears out faster. Front tire night's not as fast. Take the front tire, put it on the rear, put a new one on the front because you really want your cornering traction on the front. But since I'm racing on this bike, we're gonna go new tires front and rear. So now that my bike's all set, we're gonna do the same thing on SIDS, start with a bolt check, and then swap some tires. And she has decided to put a Vittoria Airliner light insert in her rear tire. Um, she's never run inserts on her cross country bike before, but because Moab is rocky, especially day one, um, and there's a lot of possibility of square edge hits, she decided to go ahead and try the airliner. Um, I am running the airliner front and rear and have been most of last year. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. It is time to hit the road, head to Moab. I am still feeling a little sick, unfortunately. It wasn't a terrible cold, but the congestion has lingered a little bit. I'm hoping that a little sunshine in Moab, we'll kick the last of the crud and we'll be ready to race on Saturday. So what is this giant thing of cheese for? <laughs> we're not using all of it. Why not? But, I mean, we can. <laughs> but we're gonna make a buffalo macaroni and cheese like Mac buffalo wild wings, but in a casserole dish. As Mike likes to say, stage racing is an eating competition while riding bikes. <laughs> We're gonna have to put that in slow-mo because she's eating that in like high speed. Macaroni and cheese, but buffalo style. So think of like a buffalo wild wings, but in a bowl. Made it to Moab. It is uh, insanely windy out there. The conditions out there are <laughs> pretty horrific. It is so windy, but we're all okay <laughs> and ready to ride. All right, Dead Man's Ridge. One of the uh, more technical, well, not this part, but generally one of the more technical climbs on stage two. <clears throat> So we figured we would uh, come check this one out again, since the other ones we've ridden quite a few times over the years. 
but this one is new and it's technical but we didn't really want to ride the whole course so we decided to park in a way that we could ride the more technical climbs and the really technical descent killer B. Oh yeah, this one, awkward. hoping it's not going to be windy like this because the wind is making this stuff way harder like just trying to put your wheel in a certain spot on a kind of picky trail and the wind is just like how about three inches to the left and I'm like how about that is unacceptable handlebar catcher that right there is a handlebar catcher. for it. Get the rookie out of the legs. This is the other steepy techie climb that we figured was worth seeing was this part. Especially this thing. I feel like we're like crossing the savannah or something here. Yeah. All right, we're heading towards Killer D, which is the 
by far most technical descent on this stage. Shifty, shifty. <laughs> nice. Damn. You want to try again? Yeah, probably. Gotta love signs that say caution very steep grades. Despite flopping on the bed, I actually feel pretty good. Just yesterday I was like, oh, I still feel a little bit sick, like this is gonna suck this weekend, but today I finally feel normal. This was kind of a weird cold where it never got that sick, but it also kind of like lingered for a while, so I think we did a pretty good job of mitigating the damage of getting sick. I am finally feeling excited to race. It was really fun to pre-ride with Lo and Joe and to get to see the trails. And even though the wind was horrendous, it's supposed to die down tonight. And I think, I think this weekend is gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure you're subscribed and you check back next week. The first race video will be out on Patreon right now. So if you can't wait, you can go watch that. In the meantime, don't forget to be more awesome and we will see you next week for some bike racing.